Hey guys, what's going on? It's Clever Tiki, and in this video we're going to learn about PHP switch statement. Okay, so this is the basic syntax of the switch statement. We have a keyword switch, followed by the expression inside the round brackets, and then in between the curly brackets we have keywords case, followed by the value and a colon, and break, followed by the semicolon. So what this means is if the expression of value is to zero, then we want the following code executed and then we end the execution with a keyword break. If we don't use the keyword break after, after code, then all the following cases will also be evaluated and the code will also be executed. And I'll give you an example on how that works a little bit later. Now, the default keyword will be executed if none of the other cases match. So if our expression will evaluate to, for example, five, then that code will be executed. So it is, it, it is important to use break if you don't want all the following cases to be executed. And the switch statement can be written in an alternative form like so. So instead of uh, curly brackets, we can use a colon and instead of uh, the ending curly bracket, we can also use and switch followed by the semicolon. So that's the switch statement syntax for you. And now let's go ahead and create a little script to see how it works in practice. Okay, so I'm just gonna create an, uh, an array called animals. And I'm just gonna put three animals in it, cat, dog, and duck. And then I'm going to use the switch statement and for the expression, I'm gonna put in our array and then I'm gonna use a array random array rent function to pick out a random uh, key from the array. And so at this point, it's gonna randomly pick out cat, dog or duck. And uh, that's the value which we're gonna get. So we're gonna write case cat colon echo now. So I'm just going to put in uh, the sounds which uh, the animals will make in uh, all our cases, which is cat, dog and duck. Okay, for the dog, I'm going to put echo woof. And finally, uh, don't forget to break that. And case duck, I'm going to put echo quack. Also break. Okay, and that's a basic uh, program and I'm gonna go ahead and run it now and refresh the page, keep refreshing and it's gonna, as you can see, it randomly puts out uh, different animal sounds based on the kind of, kind of a random array key and value which has been picked out from the array. Okay, so that's a basic example of the switch statement. Now, um, let me show you a, um, for example, uh, if we added the default keyword here and we could say something like unknown <laughs> animal detected, run for your life. Probably be a good idea to run for your life if you have an unknown animal. And here I would put something like monster and now if uh, <laughs> if none of the other cases have been matched so if not not a, if it's not a cat it's not a duck duck it's not a dog then the default case is executed which is monster and in that case unknown animal detected run for your life is executed and if we keep hitting random as you can see it keeps selecting it once in a while randomly Okay, so that's how the default works. And um, okay, so now I wanna show you another example if uh, we simply don't use breaks. And I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna pick, uh, create a variable named speed, and I'm gonna say 65 MPH. So this is gonna be like a car example where we're gonna be speeding. Okay, so I'm gonna say switch speed. And then, uh, I'm not gonna type all of that. I have all this typed up already, but basically it's gonna give you a different message based on what kind of a speed you have here. So in case it's 65 MPH, which is the value right now, 
we're going to say you're going the speed limit responsible driver 95 is going to say whoa there slow down you're way over the speed limit 135 mph is going to say did you forget about your brakes and 250 you must be driving a bugatti okay so you can see that i haven't used any of the brake uh keywords here so let's see what happens okay so as you can see it's printing out all the messages so that's exactly what happens when you use a switch without brakes so if i use the brake here and then refresh the page all of a sudden only that case is executed you're going to speed limit responsible driver now if i set it to something like 135 here there's no brakes after 135 so it's also gonna print out the following case as well so did you forget about your brakes you must be driving a bugatti and so in a similar way use brake here refresh the page and then it stops the execution right after that case is matched so that's exactly how the uh, brakes work and then uh the final example, I want to show you a case grouping. So we're going to create a new array named species. And uh, we're going to do a similar thing, put some animals inside of these uh, species uh, and some insects as well. And uh, this is going to be a combination of using uh, cases uh, called case grouping. So I'm going to use a switch statement here. And also, we're going to use the same function array rend that we used previously, which is going to pick out the random uh, random value from the array. And then we can say case cat, case dog, colon, and case cow, colon, echo, we are animals. And then we're gonna stop the execution with a break. Also, we're gonna say case fly, colon, case b, colon, and case ant, colon, echo, we are insects, break. Okay, just to. Uh, Okay, so what I've done here is I grouped uh, all the animals from the array, cat, dog, and cow, and I've also grouped all the insects from the array, which is fly, bee, and ant. And so you can see that after we have selected a, sp a specific value, we don't have to immediately follow that by any kind of code. And so this is called case grouping, where we group a bunch of values together and then we specify whatever code we want to execute based on the selected three values here. And then we end the execution with a break. So that's how case grouping works. And um, finally, an alternative way to write switch statement would be this. We just replace the opening curly bracket with a colon. And we rep replace the closing curly bracket with end switch semicolon. So that's just an alternative way to write a switch statement. And uh, finally, I have a, a practical function with a switch statement that I found, which is pretty cool. It's called uh, get, get Chinese Zodiac. And you specify the year for, for the property, for the uh, argument. And it's going to print out the Chinese New Year based on the year that you specify. So here you, you can see that I've echoing out and then the function name and I'm specifying this uh, parameter, which is 2017, which is a current year. And let's see what happens. It's printing out rooster and uh, it's going to find uh, any Chinese uh, New Year's name based on the uh, year provided. So if I enter my birth year and I click save, immediately I know that I'm, I was born in the year of the boar. And you can uh, obviously <laughs> put in your year, whatever year you're born in, and it's going to uh, work in that way as well. So that's just a pretty cool function and it uses the modulus operator to figure that out. Uh, and then it 
print it actually returns uh, these values based on based on all the cases so so now you know pretty much uh, everything about the PHP switch uh, statement and uh, I hope you guys found this video useful uh, also I have a text version of this uh, video on a website so make sure to check it out to, if you want the source code and if you prefer to follow the text version go ahead and check out my website clevertechie.com and that's it for this video i'll see you next time clevertechie out